My name is Thomas Mulvener. I'm a 32-year-old mature student due to start my fourth year of an MMath here at York. I've put this little presentation together to try give you some tips for success and maybe ease some concerns you may have as you re-enter education. Mature students are classed as being over 21 and come from a variety of backgrounds, families and experiences. I myself come from a gypsy traveller community. I never finished school. I didn't have GCSEs till I was in my late 20s. I get it. I've been right there with you. Being nervous is perfectly natural. This is a big thing you're doing and any change can be scary. But the people you will meet and the world that will open up to you will be worth it. Trust me on this one. A lot of the undergrads come straight to uni from school or college as a natural next step and will probably struggle with more day-to-day -day problems like living on their own for the first time or how to work the washing machine rather than the coursework. However, your skill set, your life experiences are much different. So let's focus on you. How can you succeed? So I have come up with the four axioms of being successful at uni, especially as a mature student. Number one, get involved. Attending your lectures and seminars is of course paramount for any degree, as not only is it important to engage with others and the subject you are studying, you can also miss out on golden jokes like this one from Jason. Boris Johnson's ego is bigger than itself, but uh, <laughs> you, can't have any, you can't have anything else. But he shouldn't exist, so that's all right. Uh, By engaging with the course, you will make friends with students and staff alike. Attend uni events, network, take up a sport at one of the many, many clubs, or engage with one of the societies. What I can tell you is that each new experience here is literally a journey that will open doors to the next one. Number two, use the support network made available and the one that you've created yourself. Mathematics is about ideas and a lot of those ideas will be thrown around and discussed here by you and the rest of your cohort in the math study area. So this equation has a fond memory because a fellow student, one of the younger guys, he spent three hours trying to explain the process to me. And eventually, after we'd ripped our hair out many times with my stupidity, we got there in the end. The lecturers here at York have an open door policy, so you can ask questions at certain times of the day. There will also be both solo and group meetings with your supervisor, <laughs> either in person or on Zoom. This is me and mine, this is Brent, who teaches groups and actions at the uni. As well as this, you will also be assigned to a second or third year contact known as a STIM before you even arrive. For any non-related course problems, Open Door is an excellent service on campus. Axiom number three, keep a tight schedule, get yourself a routine and try and stick to it. Juggling coursework, problem sheets, lectures, along with life in general can be tough and it is inevitable you will fall behind on something at some point. This is why you have to keep on top of things. Don't be afraid of catching up on notes between lectures with a coffee. A degree is akin to a full-time job and you don't want to be caught slipping. This is an area in which mature students are excelling as we have those life experiences we can lean back on. Number four, the last and most important one in my opinion, work hard. And if you're passionate about your subject, this is the easiest one. <laughs> These four tips are almost an equivalent to this because life, like mathematics, has lots of overlapping parts. What I can promise you is this, coming to the Uni of York will change your life like it has mine. It was the best thing I've ever done. So lastly, before I go, I just want to say good luck to you and wherever you go and whatever you do as a student, good journey.